Hi, I'm Elizabeth and this is another video on prepper stuff for the non-prepper. I don't consider myself to be a prepper, but I do think it's important to be ready to take care of your family in the event of an emergency uh, for anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. Uh, things like blizzards and hurricanes, stuff like that. Um, I'm outside here today um, because I'm talking about a solar panel. Um, this is not sponsored. Um, this is just a product that I happen to already own. Um, and this is the Big Blue 28 watt solar charger. I have it hooked up to a power bank right now. And it opens up, sorry. It opens up and it has four individual panels. Um, then it also has um, an ammeter of this will we'll measure the, uh, the power output that it's giving you. Um, it's already popping up, it's at point two. So this is very easy to use. And I have to say that um, I was a little disappointed in it, um, using it. I hooked up my phone to it and I had it inside, but in direct sunlight. And this was through a non-coated window. So it wasn't a, a window that had like a, a UV coating or anything like that. Um, but the, the panel, you know, it, it, in a full four hours of charging with my phone, um, which is an iPhone uh, 12, Pro Max, I think. Um, it's like the larger, uh, the larger iPhone, but it only gave me 2% battery um, power with the phone completely off for four hours in direct sunlight. Um, I will say that um, we're, you know, we're living in Canada. I'm in Manitoba and it's the middle of January. So this isn't really the best time to be using a, a solar panel, but this is the time of year when we would need one because of blizzards um, or ice storms or things like that that might knock the power out. Um, like I said, it's very easy to use. It has a little pocket here. It comes with some some clips that you can use to hook it onto something. Um, you can connect a power bank to it. It's I mean, my power bank is registering that it's charging, but at, you know, at 0.2, I hope you can see this, um, now it's 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, so um, it's not really getting a whole lot of power, um, and we're, we're not in direct sunlight right now, but, but this is about as, as bright as it gets on, on an overcast day um, here you know, here in, in on the Canadian prairies in the middle of winter. Um, so I'm, I'm sure this would work better at more southern latitudes and especially in the summer it would work better. Um, but for, you know, for the winter it's, um, it's not really the best. Um, I will tell you it has two USB outputs at the bottom of this. So you can, um, so now we're, I'm, I'm pointing it towards the sun and I'm getting 0 0.5 um, and that's what I what I peaked at indoors um, it, it just doesn't get a lot of a lot of power from the sun here uh, at least this time of year um, it is very easy to use it's it's heavy I think it's about six ounces but um, I wouldn't mind, you know, carrying this around if, if it worked well for power. Um, I'm going to keep looking for another another solar panel. I'm not sure this is the one that's that's going to work for us long term. Um, but I, I am going to wait until the summer and see how it does in um, when when there's some more direct sunlight. Um, the sun's coming out of the clouds a little bit better. I'll give it one more chance and hold it way up here. Let's see. All right, we're at point, we are at point five, point six. Okay, so, so that's what we're topping out at um, for winter sun in a northern climate. Um, it does fold up and it has a Velcro strip here to hold it closed. This is the cord that it came with. It's um, a USB to micro USB uh, cord. The power bank, it doesn't come with, um, and it comes with four of those clips. Uh, to get onto things. Uh, so that's that's my review, quick review of the uh, the big blue 28 watt solar charger. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching.